Hey guys, how's it going? Mega Loogie here, back with another episode of Make a Mega, the series where I take your suggestions in the comments down below and give that a Pokemon a Mega Evolution. So make sure to let me know what Mega you would like to see in the next episode. This time, however, I'm joined by a friend of mine, my man Turbo. Yo guys, it's Debo and I am super stoked to be on my boy Mega Lugia's channel jumping into a Make a Mega episode. Today we have one hell of an edgelord of a Mega and his name is Do 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 Mega Staraptor. So make sure you sit back, relax and enjoy the video. Make sure to head on over to his channel if you want to see some dope, unique Pokemon content. Now without further ado, let's get into it. So diving into Staraptor. It is one of the most powerful birds we have gotten to date, rivaling the strength of Talonflame. Having said that, it does outclass Talonflame in the attack base with a base stat of 120, utilizing high base power moves like Braver, Double Edge, and Close Combat. Staraptor hits extremely hard, and pairing it with a 100 base speed as well is a deadly combination, allowing it to become a very effective choice scarf user. Although its bulk isn't too much of a standout, Staraptor is good for one thing, which is dishing out some damage and even gaining momentum with moves like U-Turn. It's easy to see why Staraptor is such a fan favorite and deserving of a Mega Evolution. Now looking at the abilities, Staraptor has two very useful ones, its first being Intimidate, lowering the opponent's attack by one stage, which adds to the versatility with U-Turn, allowing Staraptor to get in there, lower the attack, and switch out with some damage. Its hidden ability Reckless adds 20% of a damage increase to moves that cause recoil like Brave Bird and Double Edge. Staraptor just got even stronger, and finding a safe switch in, even on a resisted attack, is not easy to find. Yo, as my boy Mega Lugia said, Reckless gives an increase of 20% to all moves with recoil. So that's a pretty solid ability for Staraptor. But Mega Staraptor's got to be even better. So we're thinking about this and we were like, bro, the opposite of being reckless is to be precise. Let's give Mega Staraptor precision. And I'm not talking about Mega Staraptor learning how to use a ruler. I'm talking Mega Staraptor getting 20% boost on recoil moves, except 75% less recoil, making it not too broken, yet still really good. Can you imagine Stab Brave Bird? 20% boost as well on top of that with 75% less, less recoil plus access to roost. That's longevity for days and I'm telling you right now. Then I was chilling and I was like, bro, have you seen Staraptor in the anime? Check it out, it's awesome. Total edgelord. When he uses Brave Bird, he sets himself on fire and electrocutes himself. So why don't we just give him Flare Blitz and Wild Charge as well? 20% boost on those, coverage for days, close combat, Brave Bird, Flare Blitz, Wild Charge. You're running out of moves, what are you gonna do? Give it that fighting type and give it 20% extra on that um, stab boosted or 10%, I can't remember. Close combat. And then we are rocking four days. Mega Staraptor, the Edgelord, is going to be rolling up in your DMs with a Flare Blitz or a Brave Bird for you. So, with Mega Staraptor's already impressive base stats of 85 HP, 120 attack, 70 defense, 50 special attack, 60 speed up, and 100 speed, what do we do? Well, I want you to close your eyes and picture this. You're in Japan on a train track, eyes shut, arms spread out wide, bullet train comes firing at you, smashes you in the face, your arm gets flown off, your leg gets flown off, you're dead, blood everywhere, well that's kind of what happens when you get hit by a Mega Staraptor's Brave Bird. Now I have 100 base stats to spread across all of Staraptor and there's only few things you're going to put it in because Staraptor only does a few things but it does a few things very well. Imagine Mega Beedrill, Mega Beedrill trash against this thing, I'm putting 40 points into attack making its attack 160 equaling Mega Beedrills. Then we're going to put 50 points in speed, taking it 10 points higher than Mega Beedrill, making it outspeed Mega Sceptile and Mega Beedrill and half, and well, like three quarters of the rest of the Smogun game. Nothing's going to be taking these Brave Birds very, very well. You stick Machamp in front of him. I think Machamp's going to be having like three arms after it's attacked by a Brave Bird Staraptor. Things are going to be flying off. It's going to be decapitating limbs. That's Mega Staraptor, the emo bird, the new Smogun bird. This thing will be better than Talonflame. And that's going to be Mega Staraptor. And there you have it guys, Mega Staraptor. This one was requested quite a bit, so I eventually got around to doing it. I hope I did it justice and you guys enjoyed watching. Don't forget to check out my man Turbo. His channel will be linked in the description down below, so make sure to hit him out. Of course, make sure to comment down below letting me know what Mega you would like to see next. Thanks for watching guys, hope you're having a great day. Mega Lugia here, checking out. Peace!